Welcome back to Make Way for Cap. We have all of our items. We are going to ignite the braziers and go through the, uh, through the archway. Frog slime. Tiny stone. You drop the stone into the basin with a resounding chiming sound. Fractures trace across the pebble before it cracks open and a cold green light swallows it within its flames. Dog hair? Dog hair takes a moment to fall from your fingers, fluttering down into the basin one by one. The fur bristles into foul-smelling coils before erupting into a gold, cr cold green flame. The brazier awaits an offering with a feather. A strong force pulls the feather down into the large basin like a magnet. It bursts into a bright flash of light as cold flames engulf its, exist its essence. The emerald flames of the braziers play strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch as fingers of shadow crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. After you, madam. Give me unlocked. First things first. Okay. Is that me? Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber, her ageless features express a deep sadness. The sound of cloven hooves echo against the marble floor as the goat comes to your side. Quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you? Why, who is she? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorstep and begged me to save her soul. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why, from the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged her in life. Villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. And as we agreed, here she will sleep until our contract is fulfilled until you bring me those twelve wicked souls. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding, regardless of what you do or do not remember. At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And just why would I do your bidding? It seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. What do I care about some sleeping beauty? Bring me the twelve souls, and I will release the sleeping maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. Who knows? In time, you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or you can simply return to the comfort of your little hovel, where you will waste away until the weeds grow so thick that not even your shears will be able to cut you free. Oh, it's getting dark here, and your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. But it is a big decision to make so hastily. Why don't you sleep on it? Heavy weight fills your marrow. Your eyelids flutter, barely able to stay open. W what have you done to me? I I can't stay awake. All right, back in my little house. Good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for, or would you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? Alright, alright. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Blended, as it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. Two are in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. More specific. Near a shapely stump, perhaps inside a tree with a face, by an overgrown mushroom grove. What do I look like, a compass? Go out there and look for yourself. Well, alright then. Sleeping maiden.
bear in the forest, ox in the fields. So a bear and a snake in the forest. Okay. I don't remember seeing anything like that in forest, so let's go take a look. I remember seeing a deer statue. Okay, so there's a frog hopping around there if we need more frogs. Frog, whatever it was. Frog spawn. Or frog goo. talk to these guys anymore. Oh, you know what? Maybe my map will tell me. Okay. Bear is here, and then... Oh, the fields are this way. And the snake is back here. Have I even been back there? That's the well. Oh yeah, the gate here. Okay. Oh. Are you the bear? Order master. Oh, hello there. So sorry, I think I managed to get most of this debris off the road. Looks like you've made a fine wreck. What on earth happened to your cart? Hey, yes, well, you see I was sent on a very important mission. By order of my captain, the bear. Captain is the bear. The bear, you say? What sort of mission? It's my job to make sure the Lakeshore camp is well stocked with provisions, but most importantly, a steady supply of honey for the bear's favorite mead. I was just on my way back from the apiary with a cart full when a, a deer or something darted out of nowhere. Jostled my poor mule so bad that she broke her bridle and ran off. My own heart nearly leapt out of my ribcage. I held the darn cart right into the ditch she did. Now every barrel is smashed and I can't bring myself to report back empty-handed. The bear will have my guts for the garters, I'm sure of it. This bear sounds like quite a brute. Oh, you don't know the half of it. If he doesn't get his honey made, heads will roll. Maybe you could lend me a hand? I can't very well put this broken cart back together. No, no, nothing like that. But could you take a message to the sergeant of the Lake Shore camp? He's a reasonable fellow. Let him know what happened. And maybe he can get me out of this bind. You can get to the Lake Shore camp if you follow the road to the northwest of here. I need to stay with the cart and assess the damages. Oh, to dear. Okay. Go back this way. Oh, the leech. That's the swamp. Okay, so this is the way for the bear. That's nice. This is the field. Lazy grass. It's clay. Frog slime, that's what it is. A little wheat fields here. Brain, okay. Snap trap. Hopper. Farm hand. Logger's hatchet. Oh, there's some. Oh, that's literally the stuff in my inventory. Oh. Hopper leg. Oh, a turkey? I gotta look at this guy. Digestive tablets. Okay, I don't know what any of those things are, and I don't know that I have any need for a turkey at the moment, so let's talk to this guy. 
Good day to you. Uh, okay, can't talk to him. Perhaps I can puzzle him somehow? Unknown. Natural tinkerer, but stubbornly refuses to read any instruction manuals. Prowl? Oh. It's just clay. Oh, there's a gardener right there. Oh, you. One of these changelings. Chickens! Oh, eggs! And a rooster? Oh, the baby chicks. Occupy. Cow? Empty jar. I have an empty jar. Jar of milk. Is this? Buried in the hay, a secret awaits to be discovered. Unusual hay bale. On closer inspection, this mountain of hay appears to have been deliberately woven into an intricate wickerwork structure. You carefully pluck a single piece of straw from its center and the whole bundle begins to swirl and unravel until a gaping vortex opens before you. A shadowed way? Oh, does this take me back to the... I think this takes me back to the, uh, in-between? Okay, so I actually have to open up these portals. Very cool. I'm just gonna explore a bit before I look at where I need to go. Ox's farm. Ooh, you guys look was it the ox that I needed? Hold on. The ox in the fields. Yeah. But wait, I don't think the map showed me... Okay, so it looks like I have to start over there. The laborers of the ox. Ooh, I see a treasure chest. Uh... Unknown. An unpleasant sort, expressed primarily through stabbing. Uh, I do have hearts, so maybe... Ash pile. Ooh, dreadful doll weaknesses. Lockbox. Okay, I'm not ready, I don't think, to take these guys on. Okay, sewing kit and dreadful doll I learned. Oh, okay. Make one of these. What is that? Skeeter snoot. Uh, it's like a mosquito nose from the swamp. Across the water. I see some changelings in here. Vegetal. Not vegetable, vegetal. Hecti Gord stands before you, wiping beads of dew off his bumpy forehead. He tilts up the brim of his hat and greets you with what you interpret as a smile. Welcome to my farm, stranger. What brings you out here? How is it growing, farmer? Oh, you know, not so bad. Trying my best to win the harvest competitions this year. Well, you look to be making good progress. I'm sure you'll be a shoe in for the blue ribbon. You would think so, wouldn't you? But every year without fail, that sour ox takes the prize. No matter how hard I work, I can't seem to outgrow his crops. Careful now, you're beginning to sound like a sore loser. Ah, ah, not sore loser. I just think it's quite suspicious, don't you? 
Last year, the ox and his family grew the largest corn cobs I've ever seen. I was only barely able to get second place because of my own little helpers. He motions to animated turnips and potatoes busy with menial farm work. But this year, his crops are larger than ever before. Even though his family is nowhere to be seen, it doesn't take, make any sense to me. He's working the fields all by himself. What happened to his family? That's the fishy part. No one knows. They just disappeared one day, and the ox has said nothing. Hmm, that does sound suspicious. Perhaps I'll go and ask him myself. Ja, ja, his farm is down to the southwest. You can't miss it. I must get back to work. Veggies won't grow themselves, you know. Okay, the ox. Ooh, chest here. Petals, grain, and the changeling root. I'm curious, like, what kind of stories I'm gonna unearth here with these evil souls. Oh, more of these guys. I don't really need any of that. Oh, 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 you look like you're probably bad. Snag vine and logger's hatchet. I'm just gonna hide here. Yeah, I can't do anything with that yet. Uh, run. Oh, there's a farmer here. Good day to ya. They might drop something. Oh, turkey again. Oh, oh my gosh. Turkey is vicious. That's a vicious turkey. Okay, so if you see like a glowing skull over their heads, it is bad news. Like these guys. Yep. I had a feeling they were also. Okay. So I think I've been around here. are more pathways up. That one takes me back to the forest. The apiary. Alright, let's go talk to the ox. I think it was this way. Yeah. Changeling. Chickens. Oh, a dog. Same thing. If we need dog hair. Oh. Alright, here's our first look at one of the first... Spirits I need. Ox. Hey, this is private property. What are you doing trespassing on my land? Why, I just came to admire the glow of your crops, Master Ox. I heard you produce the most bountiful produce in the land. Ah, well you heard right. I work day in and day out till my hands are raw and my back is broken. But you won't find a finer farm anywhere else. You're sure to take first prize at the Harvest Festival again. You and your family must be so proud. The ox spits on the tilled soil. Ha! Those lazy louts never understood the pride and joy of devoting oneself to the land. What good's a family that gripes about hard labor? We'd have never won any of those competitions if it wasn't for my sacrifice. Where's your family, then? I can't help but notice you're working all by yourself. If you must know, those damnable bandits out by the South Bridge stormed in the place one night and stole them away. Bandits? You don't seem very concerned about getting them back. Ha! I'm better off. For all I know, they could have been already ransomed off for fertilizer. But if you're so worried, why don't you go and talk to those bloody brigands yourself? Now get your big nose off my fields, or I'll toss you in the compost heap. 
scarecrow. Okay. All right, in order to get to the bandits, we actually have to... Ooh. We actually have to go to the swamp and get mosquito noses. Skeeter snoots. Investigate the bandit camp. Yeah. In order to do that. I mean, I could probably try to outrun them. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. There are far too many for me to just sneak by. Find a way to get past it. Oh, so it's not even gonna let me. Okay. Okay, I tried. the apiary. Buried beekeeper. Hives. Sorry, we're closed for the season. You'll have to come back later. Okay, so we'll definitely need to come back here for something. Probably the bear. Okay, so how did I get out of here? Oh, I could just go through here. Or there it is right there. Just straight this way north. If I remember correctly, the swamp is like all the way on like the north side here. Yeah, that's to the swamp. It's this way. Double check. Okay, that's the way for the bear. What are you? Goblin. Dreadful doll. Yeah, definitely need more. Need some of those mosquitoes. Get out a net just in case. Oh, look at those things, they're huge. Logger. Skeeter smoke pellet. A hatchet. Okay. Smoke pellet. Spirit salts. Okay, I can craft one of these. Useful against bloodsuckers and ghastly heads. Stick. Th those need spirit salts. Ah, ooh. Okay, I recognize that little shell-like thing I need for something else. Just gonna sneak around. Thank you. Cheers. Travel, of course. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe we can't walk through the water. Pardon, pardon. Oh. Bait stick and interact. Yeah, bait stick. I need frogs. Old woman, who's there? My eyes have gone milky. Please, come a little closer, sister. I don't believe we've met before. Why do you call me sister? I don't need sight to see someone who's also signed a dark contract. The woman looks blindly through you, though you can sense her focus. Contract? So you've had dealings with that damnable goats, too? What sort of pact did he rope you into? Oh, you know how it is. I was young, and he, he weren't no goat when I knew him. We used to dance naked under the blood moon and raise the dead to frighten dull country folk. Ah, but it's ancient history now. Old age comes for us all, and eventually you've got to hang up the sacrificial dagger and settle down into the comforts of retirement. I know the feeling. I miss my cozy chair and little fireplace. Seems like a fine spot you've got here. Well, it's not all posies and pumpernickel. She clutches worriedly at the moth-eaten blanket in her lap. What's rattled your bones? Maybe I can help. It's my dear old husband. Handsome chap, although a bit clumsy. He had a tumble trying to weed out some swamp traps from the yard. Awful things like to snap at your toes when you're not looking. Anyway, he twisted his ankle pretty bad and went off to the sick house to have a look at to have it looked at. That was a few days ago. He should have been back by now. And these legs haven't worked right in decades, so I can't even go check up on him. I've been so worried, I even thought about making another contract. Don't you dare. You just wait here. I'll go find him and see what the bother is. Thank you, sister. The sick house is down the road to the west. Be careful of the critters along the way. They've got a taste for blood. Another chapter. Oh, the leech. Ooh, a sewing kit. Great. One less we have to make. Water. Oh good, here's some frogs. We're gonna need some of this. Ooh, embalming salts. That's, uh, I need that for something else as well. Oh my gosh, what are you? Drake. Snackerfice and shears. Wow, okay. He requires a lot. Okay. Watchful corpse. That's creepy. Oh, what is this? A place... Okay, a, place of, a place of power, but to what end? Skyward? Rooted? Ornamented, adorned. Okay. I have no idea what these are for. I'm sure I will at some point. Alright, well, we've got our sewing kits, so we could probably head back. Uh, let's explore this a bit more. I don't know what you are, but you look bad. Snag vine. Suspicious stump. Oh. This is our portal. The thick moss growing on this massive fallen trunk seems to recoil at your touch, revealing strange etch etchings on the bark below. Slowly, a spark of swirling energy seeps forth from the waterlogged wood until an ethereal doorway opens before you. There we go. That's our way back. Getting a blue feather without a... Without destroying a little bird. Kinds of stuff just hanging out. Oh. What are you? Troll. 
Fat Troll sits squarely in the middle of the bridge, busy scratching an itch on his back with a fallen tree. His unmatched girth blocks the path forward. Out of the way, you big galoot! He shifts his mass and releases a loud fart as you attempt to circumvent him. Well, fine, keep your bridge. I'll come back when the vapors have dissipated. Okay. I'm more exploring right now than actually going anywhere. To the sick house. Okay. Oh, that's where the leech is. pretty well explored. So it does seem like we're going to have to work on all four of these guys simultaneously. Alright, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.